today I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade battery out of some things you may have laying around your home. First, we're going to need a cigarette lighter adapter, USB. These usually run anywhere between three to five dollars depending on which ones you purchase. Next, a pair of pliers, wires, wire cutters, electrical tape, batteries, a nine volt battery connector. Um, you can usually get these out of old mode controls for the TV or uh, you can purchase these at a local Radio Shack or electronic store for less than a dollar. So let's get to it. First we're going to go ahead and crack open the cigarette lighter plug. Now I've already cracked open quite a few of these so we're just going to go with this guy. Now when you crack it open you'll notice that they'll have a big spring at the end for the fuse depending on which one you buy of course and it will have a negative wire coming out of it. This one I was messing around with, that's why I don't have the wires no more. But it will look like this, something like this. You'll have your positive and your minus. Now like this one I purchased at a local Walgreens for like $3.40. It has a plus and a minus on the board actually. If, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. It says plus. Not all boards will tell you plus and minus. As you can see on this one, it doesn't say anything. It just says R1. And on the back, nothing. So it depends on where you pick them up and purchase them. Next, what we're going to do is get a pair of wires. Now you can use speaker wire, any kind of wire that you have laying around the house. I always recommend a thinner gauge, of course, because it's easier to hide. Wire stripper so you can strip the ends up properly. Of course, the electric tape afterwards when you're done and you're going to tape everything together. So we're going to go ahead and tape positive and minus to the board. Next, if you want to, you can add a toggle switch in between it so you can turn on and off the battery pack. Granted, I didn't do that. I'm a little lazy. I just pop this off when I'm done with it. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, it's a very simple project. It's going to cost you probably maybe 10 or $11, which is a lot better than some of those battery packs out there for a hundred, a hundred and fifty, just depending on what you want to do and use it for. Now if you are wanting to charge a portable device, let's say like the PS Vita or a PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller, something like that, most of them will need some type of docking station because this only pushes out five volts and the controller or the uh, VS Vita actually takes like 7.5, 7.9 volts so to, to, to register that it's going to start charging. The docking stations will do that for you. As you can see here, this docking station is powered up by this. Now you can put it back in the case if you took it apart properly and rip the ends off and tape it together and you'll have your own homemade battery pack. It's quite a very simple project. I mean, I can't stress it enough how simple this project is. I did quite a few testing with different uh, batteries and stuff like that. Nine volts are your best opinion. You can use triple A or double A batteries, but you will need quite a lot of them to make it register properly. So I would probably say just go with your nine volt batteries. Let the triple A's and double A's just roll away. Your 9 volts are your best for this device. Um, now you can actually hook this up to a car battery, motorcycle battery, any of those other devices like that and still get your 5 volts and be able to charge other devices. So I hope this has been informative to you guys so you can make your own homemade battery packs. And uh, you guys have fun. Take care. Peace.